Hi guys! So today I'm going to do what am I doing? <laughs> today I'm going to do new with books for August and September. I did a combined list for these two months because uh, it's going up late and so I just thought you'd like to know what were the top 10 books that came out in August and September that you might want to pick up and read. Uh, none of these have I read before uh, so hence they're new in books. <laughs> Uh, so number one is Four Cross by Marie Lu. It comes out September 12th. This book is very appropriate, I guess, to today's world. It, I believe it was YA, and it is about a girl named Marie, and she uh, works for a gaming company, and it's a game that's became incredibly popular, and it's been popular for almost 10 years. So there's like big championships and everything. It just kind of swept... Uh, through everything and it's really popular and she finds out there's like a glitch in the game and she runs security for the game uh, during the championship so that's what the story's about okay book number two is The Last Tutor by Philippa Gregory it comes out August 8th or it came out August 8th I should say uh, this book is about Lady Jane Grey and <laughs> I'm not sure why Philippa Gregory called it the last tutor because she definitely, well, she wasn't the last tutor. Lady Jane Grey reigns for only nine days, and then Mary Tudor uh, reigns, and then Elizabeth Tudor reigns, and then the Stuarts take over. Um, one that Elizabeth and, well, Elizabeth and then Mary Queen of Scots, who is a Stuart. Uh, Mary has a daughter, or has a son, and she makes a deal with Elizabeth basically to make her son Elizabeth heir because, as we know, she was. A virginal queen. I'm surprised she did a book and I'm surprised it's called The Last Tutor um, on Lady Jane Grey because she did other books that went really in depth about her so I'm kind of excited to see uh, like a whole story uh, served to her but I thought with her having such a small reign I'm surprised she did a book for her but I'm excited at the same time because Tudor Stewart history it's a lot of fun and it should be a good book by her. If any of you don't know, I'm a big fan of Philippa Gregory. That's why it was chosen number two. Number three is The Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. Um, it's a Throne of Glass series, and it is book number six, and it came out or it comes out September 5th. Uh, this book I don't know anything about. I just know this series is popular, and so I really want to read the series. And I'm not going to tell you anything, but <laughs> so I'm not going to explain anything to you. Uh, in case I don't want to ruin like the first book if you have not read her Throne of Glass series. But I do like a few of her other series that I have came across. So it was a book worth mentioning. Book number four is The Secret History of Us by Jesse Kirby. It comes out August 1st. Yeah, and it's a bit about her best friend, but she gets in an accident where she loses her memory for four years. And those four years, I think, are over the high school period. So when she comes back, she has missed a huge portion of her life and she's just kind of trying to regain that. So I thought that sounded interesting. Book number five is Second Born by Amy A. Bertol and it comes out August, or came out August 1st. Book is a dystopian because it is about giving a second born to the government. And so that's, I think, the whole premise of the book. And um, the second born has to go to the government for service for their family. Uh, number six is Inviticus by Ryan Gran Grandin, Graydon, <laughs> and it comes out September 26. A young boy, his name is Fairway, I believe, and he is a son of a person from the 95th, I think 95 AD, yeah, and from the year 20, and from the year 2354 AD. So there are time travelers, obviously, and he's the son between the two. Um, the 95 AD, I think it was the gladiator, and then the female was the one born in 2354. So he's the son of these two people, uh, and he is trying to pass his test to become a traveler as well, and he keeps failing his test. But he does end up on, um, I think he does like a heist, and he goes to the Titanic area, era. <laughs> he goes and gets on the Titanic, so early 20th century. And he meets a girl there. And so it sounded really cool. Time travel and future and sounds like a dystopian once again. But maybe not too far off. Just a future book. The 
the next n book is number seven and it's a kind of freedom by margaret wilkinson sexton and it comes out august 8th this book starts in the 1940s and it's just a generational book so it's about uh, generations of these black people from the 1940s and it's a three generational book just to see how they lived and um, what their lives were like. And number eight is Home Fire by uh, Camila Shamisi and this book just simply had really good reviews. It's kind of hard to synapse it but it is about a girl who is an immigrant and she finally gets this chance to become a mentor in America but a uh, big portion of her family is back in London and she's worried about them. But it just sounded really like a really cool book and I hear it's written really well. So that's why it made spot number eight. I do have three more because I did combine two months. So I do have number nine, 10, 11, and 12. And that book came out August 15th. Number nine is My Absolute Darling by Gabrielle Talent and it comes out August 29th. This book is about a very young girl who falls for a boy, and she's about 14 years old. But it's a, a lot about her escaping because she lives with a dad who is a survivalist, but he is very abusive at the same time. So it's just about her chance at escape and finding another boy or actually like trust and do um, a male character again. Book number 10 is The Golden House by Sound and Rushti. It comes out September 5th, she, or however you say his name, but he's a super famous author and he's really good at writing magical realism, so of course I put this on the list. And so this is one of the books I'm most excited about. It is about the Golden family um, who lives in Manhattan and is in the high stakes game of reality. Book number 11, not, last but not least, is The Living Infinite by Michelle Esfito and it comes out September 12th. This one is like a historical fiction or something, I believe. And it is about a Spanish princess who traveled to Cuba um, back in 1893 and then after that she traveled to the World's Fair in Chicago and it's just about her adventure. I think she's a she was quite a popular princess. So those are all the books, uh, new for books. If you are excited to read any of them, I'm excited to read quite a few of them. It, I, it was hard going through them all because there wasn't that many good fall releases. I know there are some coming up in October which you'll hear about really soon. And if there were any books that you were interested in, please let me know below. And thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.